Protesters in Turkey uh, continued to show up uh, when Erdogan, the Prime Minister, had threatened that they should not do so. He repeatedly referred to the end of his patience, but nonetheless people came. Uh, when they did, the Istanbul Governor Hussein Avni Mutlu said, oh, it's okay, quote, I would like to say that one more time that there is no question of any police intervention at Gezi Park. Of course, that turned out to be not true. There was significant police intervention at Gezi Park, Taksim Square, uh, tear gas canisters fired, a lot of people injured, reports still coming in because as we go to air here, it's about 4 a.m. Uh, Turkish time and the protests are still going on. Uh, a lot of tear gas canisters uh, fired as you can see. Um, the police made a very aggressive push tearing down barricades, tearing down shelters, tearing down tents. Uh, one of the protesters, Kenan Aj, said, uh, I'm here because I'm trying to defend my human rights. I'm not against police, but this morning they came and threw tear gas. So in every story that I have read from neutral journalists in the area, they say that the protesters were not violent, and when the police came, that is when the physical action, the violence, etc., began instigated by the police. So now, I don't know what's going on with every single protester, but every reporter is reporting that overall the protesters were very peaceful and did not instigate these actions. It was the police who came in and tore down what the protesters had put up. Now it's not just the civilian protesters there, a couple of lawyers, who are also of course civilians, uh, went and protested about what was happening in Taksim Square. Well, two of them were arrested, then 50 of them went to go protest the arrest of their colleagues. They were also arrested. The Ankara Bar Association says, the detainment of the lawyers at the courthouse by force brings the question of what kind of a democratic regime we are living in. That unfortunately is a very good question. Now remember, Turkey has imprisoned more journalists than any other country in the world. So that is not a good uh, point on our record when it comes to uh, being a democratic republic. Now Erdogan did win elections, he is democratically elected, but winning elections is not the only thing in a democracy. You're so also supposed to tolerate dissent and freedom of speech and journalism and make sure that lawyers and judges are not intimidated. Those are also part of a democracy. In fact, the Turkish branch of Amnesty International says, we condemn shameful and brutal police violence. We repeated our justice demand in a meeting with the Istanbul governor. Apparently that fell on deaf ears. Now to give you a sense of why the police have acted in the way that they have, Prime Minister Erdogan had earlier said, quote, to those who are at Taksim and elsewhere taking part in the demonstrations, with sincere feelings, he said, I call on you to leave those places and end these incidents. And I send you my love. Well, that sounds very lovely. How kind of him. But he continued to say, but for those who want to continue with the incidents, I say, it's over. As of now, we have no tolerance for them. That doesn't seem to indicate a lot of love. I'm not sure he understands what the word love means, given what he has said right following it and what he has done right after uh, those words. And then, if you thought that was scary, get a load of this quote. Not only will we end the actions, we will be at the necks of the provocateurs and terrorists and no one will get away with it. Now there is no reasonable person who believes there are terrorists in that crowd. Apparently now every government calls everyone they don't like a terrorist. Don't get me wrong, believe me, the United States of America does the same thing. But uh, here you're supposed to represent those people, the people in those parks. Mr. Prime Minister, are your constituents, are your citizens, they're the people you're supposed to represent. You're not the president of just the people who, or I should say the leader of and the prime minister of just the people who voted for you. You're also the prime minister of everyone in Turkey, all 76 million people. It is not how a prime minister acts in a democracy. You don't go to crush the opposition physically. There's nothing wrong with their protests. And he keeps asking, how long are we supposed to have patience with these? It's a democracy. 
You're always supposed to have patience for protesters. That's how it works. Now, if you had a different form of government, an authoritarian form of government, well, then you don't have patience for people who do not agree with you. And then you go to crush them physically, violently. But that's not how a free country is supposed to act. Everybody is allowed to have their opinions, and everybody's allowed to express those opinions, and oftentimes in the form of protests. There's nothing wrong with that. That's a whole and good part of democracy. Now, if you don't understand that, there's some chance you don't understand what democracy means. It isn't just elections. Elections are a critical part of it. But it's freedom after the elections as well and throughout. Unfortunately, what the protesters are worried about and what they appear to be right about is that those freedoms are being chipped away at. And that's why they're in the streets. And apparently, Prime Minister Erdogan has never understood that and to this day does not understand it. And by the way, his actions are massively counterproductive. He took some small protests and turned them into giant protests. He took a protest against the mall, turned it into a protest against himself. Now, does this look like an effective leader to you? So even if all he wanted to do was end the protests, he couldn't have picked a worse way to do it. So, like our right wing here in the United States, congratulations, Mr. Prime Minister. I guess this is what George Bush would call mission accomplished.